What's going on guys, my name is Vortex, and today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on uh, OBS. Basically the settings I use, because people have been asking me on stream, what settings you use, Vortex, uh, stuff like that. So, basically, when I'm streaming uh, Counter-Strike GO, uh, Minecraft, uh, I'm going to stream Battlefield tonight, actually. Uh, when I'm streaming, these are my audio settings. It's at 25%-ish, and my mic's at 100. Uh, if I'm playing music, it's, it's about 25%, because uh, I like the game volume lower. And then I have my CLR browser as my number one source, or as my num my layer one my number one layer source, which is basically my follow notification, which is really cool. Then I have my overlay, webcam, and then I have another overlay here, but uh, my logo, donation when I set that up. I have this if I don't want anyone to see what I'm doing. And then so yeah, this is my logo by the way right there. I don't know why I have that for the walls. Uh, when and when I record game, I go to game capture. Um, and then I have my full screen, which will pop up in a minute. There it is, full screen. What's up, guys? Um, and then I have Be Right Back. I will be live soon. I have, oh, I have a Hope You Enjoyed one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I, I just switched these out. And then this one, I'll Be Right Back, which is, like, the best looking one. But usually I play a song if I have this, and I'll Be Right Back. Uh, and then I have my offline screen. And then this, I was just testing around for some shit. So, let me go back here, and let my webcam pop up, and we're going to go to settings, or settings on, you can go either one, I like this one though. Okay, so obviously English, no, nothing to get there. I have an X.264, I use CBR, I stream, my internet is about a 6, do, or six upload and a 20 download, so I only use 3000 kilobits a second, because that's all that's necessary. I enable CBR padding. Uh, I stream, or format is 48k HD, I really don't know what that is, but people said to use it, so I'm like, I. Uh, 128 bit rate, stereo. I have on live stream. Um, I, okay, I used to have it on Dallas, but something was giving me an issue, so I just have it at San Francisco, so. I, I don't have any problems at all. I might try to switch it back to, you know, I'll switch it back to Dallas for tonight. Uh, let's see if it's working now. Um, if you want to sa save your stream, for like stream highlights or whatever, you can click this and it will save to whatever you set it as. Um, I used to do that, but I don't do it anymore because um, I it like it gives me like five or ten less frames in CS:GO, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Save. Okay, uh, you put in your video adapter. This I have an R9270X uh, MSI, two gigabyte edition. It's really good. This is my custom resolution. I I uh, I stream in. Because uh, that's what this monitor that I'm using does right now. But I'm getting the new BenQ. Uh, no, it's not new. It's new to me. But uh, the BenQ monitor uh, should be coming on Monday. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, 30 frames a second. I downscale it. Or I do not do any downscaling. It's just what it is. Audio. Uh, default. as my uh, headset mic until I manage to get enough money for a nice mic. Uh, 200 millisecond delay. Uh, 1110. I don't, I don't know what it means, but whatever. Hotkeys, I have none, because uh, I have hotkeys for games and team speak and stuff, so I don't want to like mess them up. Uh, so I, I feel I don't feel like it's necessary anyway. Advance, um, use multi-thread. Yep, because I've I, I mean, again, I, I don't I don't I mean I know what multi-threading is, but I don't really know what exactly what it does. So I just set it to, to yeah, because someone else, the guy I watched who did it, he said yeah use this. This is why I was like okay. Um, I run very fast. Uh, you can change it to faster or super fast depending on what you need, but yeah, I have it on very fast. Uh, main, I have it on 2, use CFR, and then uh, I lost 61 to 121 frames per second. That's unnecessary. I don't even know of a website that will let you stream in 61 to 120 frames a second, to be honest. Um, Twitch goes up to 60 and YouTube goes up to 60, so it's unnecessary. I mean, if you want to, I guess, go ahead, but whatever. If you're going to send it to like a friend who has a 120 hertz monitor, yeah, I guess. Mm, none of this and then that's browser shit so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope it helped you out so uh, oh yeah by the way that's CLR browser that's um if you have that plugin installed which I do for my follow alert so I appreciate you guys coming by uh, looking at this tutorial definitely if it helps you put a like below and uh, I'll see you guys later